So now we know that all wetlands share similar characteristics, but there are different kinds. Some have trees and others have grass. Some are wet year round and some are wet only part of the year. Wetlands are called swamps, marshes, prairie potholes, lagoons, bogs, or mudflats. So there are lots of different names for wetlands. Let's go back to Della and Rick and they're gonna tell us more about these different kinds of wetlands. Wetlands come in all sizes and shapes. Now we're at a pond at the Occoquan Bay National Wildlife Refuge, and at this pond obviously has a transition zone that you describe between land and water. It's got some sedges, reeds, and grasses. Mr. Swanson, can you tell us the different kinds of wetlands? Generally, wetlands fall into four different categories. It's marshes, swamps, bogs, and fens. Now marshes, as we're standing here, as you pointed out, are dominated by sedges and reeds and grasses. The second type are swamps, which are primarily composed of woody plants like trees or shrubs. Both marshes and swamps can occur in saltwater, freshwater, and brackish water. Now bogs are a special wetland. They're a freshwater wetland composed of spongy peat deposits, evergreen trees, shrubs, and a floor that's covered by a thick moss called sphagnum moss. The last one are fens. Fens are freshwater peat forming wetlands like bogs, but are covered by mostly grasses, sedge, reeds, and wildflowers. So there is an incredible diversity of wetlands. Back to you in Canada. Thanks Rick and, Del Rick and Della. 